This video is brought to you by hoodbeast.com. Design your own custom hoodies. Hoodbeast.com. Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. Real Soul Brothers, how you guys doing? Back in it. Performance review. Yes. Um, these were sent to us. Yes, by Jordan. Jordan Brand sent them over. Um, Shout or, out to Jordan Brand. Or one of the PDR dudes. Um, yes. Uh, we didn't put his name in the video, but I'm not sure he really wants that anyways. Nope. You know what I mean? PR dudes really don't really give a shit like that. <clears throat> but this is the new Superfly. 2017 is what they're calling it, mm -hmm. of course. And, um, alright, so this is obviously Blake Griffin's shoe. You know, it's Blake Griffin's shoe, but it's not really a shoe. And um, the 2016s were, they were okay. Um, they, were, they were not that nice. I didn't really like them, but this, of course, has a new React cushioning. Uh, which I was ex Ooh. excited about uh, by Groundbreaking. Nike. Groundbreaking. Uh, it took four years to make. Yes. Uh, and feels like a fine line. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's just get it started with the Traxiones. Mm -hmm. So there are four pressure point maps. This is the uh, dark red is where you put the most pressure on your foot. I like that they colored it like that. It's That's pretty sick. dope. Yeah. Uh, I like this pressure map pattern also. Um. All right, so the rubber is pretty hard, so outdoor use should be okay. Mm -hmm. um, but I do have a little bit of fraying on my pair, uh, just a little bit. Um, but, you know, it, it's hard enough that I think it'll be okay on outdoors. Mm -hmm. um, indoors, it was good. Um, at first, it's not that good. But then after breaking it in and breaking it in, it actually gets pretty nice. It has a, a decent stopping power, um, but it just it does pick up a little bit of dust, so I did have to wipe a good amount. Yeah. So. Um, there's that. Uh, now moving on to the cushion. It's just a React foam. Uh, it's just like the Hyperdunk. The exact same thing. Um, it's not bad. It's not amazing. Um, but, you know, I really like responsiveness. So, um, I like that. And uh, coupled with response, the impact protection is actually not that bad. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's not a bad cushion setup for me. It's not my favorite, but it's, it's pretty good in my book. So... Yeah, it's not too bad either way. Yeah. You know, um, one thing is that the insole is, is pretty, you know, it's, yeah. it's nice. It's and it'll give you a little nice. bit of step in, com step in comfort. Which step is, in comfort. Step in comfort. <laughs> uh, but, you know, so that's chill. Yeah. yeah, but the cushion is nothing crazy. React is nothing to write home about. Yes. Um, but we're also not mad at it either, you know? Not bad. All right. Now, moving on to the uh, materials, there are different types of materials. So, just a regular Superfly, like in this, uh, this shoe uh, is a suede material. Yeah. But then in the Team Superfly version, it's a mesh material. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm obviously probably going to like the mesh material more. Um, but this suede, it's a very nice soft suede. It looks super premium. Yeah, it does. Especially in, in person, it's like, you know, seems like a... A premium shoe for yeah. sure, but I, I'm not sure if this is synthetic or not. It probably is. Mm, I don't know. I have no idea. Probably for the price, it doesn't feel like super, super um, suede. Suede, like yeah. real, like Jordan 13. Yeah, like real know? soft. Yeah. But, and then this back end here is also soft, like a suede. But yeah, it's, it's but real fine. Yes, you know, kind of, kind of weird. Yeah. And you uh, got the flight logo all around the back. Yeah, and it's uh, it's 3M, so it's reflective. Oh, it is. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, that's cool. Uh huh. But the materials are, uh, yeah, I don't really, I don't really like the materials that much. It's just thick. Yeah. It feels bulky. Um, it, it, it gets soft. It's a, it doesn't need a lot of breaking time, but uh, I would prefer, of course, a mesh or like a nate. Yeah. Um, but oh, what about you? Also, the materials are, you know, add weight. Yes. Okay. Um, they are very supportive, which is cool. And durability should be pretty good. Yes. Um, so, but th those are things we'll talk about later. But just straight materials, it's eh. It's okay. You know, and it's cool. it does it, crease too. It does you know? crease. It, it, it reminds me of like an old school basketball shoe. Yeah. Which you I know, don't like old school basketball. Yeah. As far shoe, as tech you know? goes nowadays, it's kind of unnecessary. Yeah. Using a lot of those materials, but um, as we move on to fit, mine ran a little it's long. Mine too. Yeah. Mine, uh, I I did go true to size, but it's, it runs a little long. So if you want to tight like very tight a uh, good fit then maybe go half the size down but it does fit really narrow for me mm -hmm. and uh sometimes i would get needles because uh, i didn't even have to crank down the laces here in the forefoot or right. the foot. um but you know so if you have a wide foot do not get these shoes yeah 
Um, but it was good for you, right? Yeah, it was good for me. I'm a narrow boy, so I was all right. But <clears throat> it was uh, pretty long for me, so I would for sure go half a size down personally mm -hmm. with the narrow foot. So uh, keep that in mind yes. uh, in copying these. Now, um, let's move on to support real quick. Support is good, yes. Support is good. You know, like we said, they're, it's a very strong premium material, old school type of leather vibe. Even if it is synthetic or not, um, it's, it's, it's supportive. Yes. Um, and you do get a little bit of ankle support, nothing crazy, but just, you know, it's like a high mid. High mid. Mid low? No, that's a low. It's a high low. High low. So a mid. Yeah, so a mid. Okay. It's um, just a mid. Yeah, it's a very supportive. It's Blake, it's freaking for, it's for yeah. Blake Griffin, guys. Yeah. He's a big dude. Um, that dude, yeah. like, you're talking about someone that needs support in their shoe, that dude needs support. Yes. Straight up. He can't be messing around with no type of soft knit <laughs> shit. I mean, he's putting torque on his shoes. Exactly. So, uh, so support, of course, is a very supportive shoe. And then moving on to... Um, Let's talk lockdown real quick. Lockdown. Very nice. Very nice. You got very some nice. very nice Achilles pillows in yes. here. It's like the memory foam type feeling yes. pillows. I like really that. I like it as some wood. And it's like a different texture too, so it'll kind of grip your sock a little bit. Yep. Um, yeah, so that, that wasn't bad. Uh huh. Midfoot lockdown, I didn't have any problems. Nope. Right. Uh, so, yeah, lockdown was good in the yeah. shoe. Um, <clears throat> and it's narrow. Uh, it is a one booty upper, so it, uh, you know, I wish there was a tongue. Uh, it is really weird though, because like this upper. Like con the tongue is outside, you know yeah. how usually the tongue is inside, and then it has like two elastic bands right here, um, which are kind of it, it's not the easiest shoe to put on either. No, um, which is kind of annoying to put on, but uh, it does do its job as uh, lock your foot in, uh, into the shoe. So, all right, let's talk about weight real quick. Weight, uh, I think super these are fly. These are supposed to be light. I mean, <sighs> by the name, you would think super, super light. fly. Uh, I think it's gonna be like 13. Ooh, 12.91. We're at size seven and a half. Oh, that's actually not bad. Yeah. yeah, I was expecting it to be like 13. Um, it's kind of crazy how like more uh, Adidas shoes are heavier than this. Yeah. Um, but I think the mesh version will be a little bit lighter because the materials. But uh, did you feel like fast on your feet? Um. Yeah. Yeah, I felt pretty fast. It's just like the materials are just are just a little bulky. Yeah. And like a little thick and um. Uh, you know, cumbersome. Yeah. So I didn't feel super fast like I would in like Kobe's, but they were still nice, and especially because since it was designed for a bigger dude, I yeah. think it'll be good, you know? Yeah, for a bigger dude, you'll feel lighter on your feet, but, yes. uh, you know, by the name, it's it, the shoes, like, uh, weight and how it feels on foot doesn't really live up to the name. Nope. I, I feel like it should be crazy light in... in, in like uh, the crazy light boost? Like the crazy light boost. That's not light either. <laughs> Um, so anyways, uh, it, it, it does its thing for being how supportive it is yes. and kind of a, a good shoe for a big dude. You will probably feel light on your feet. Yes. I mean, Blake probably feels like a feather in this shoe. Yeah. Let's move on to durability. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, durability, I feel like it should be good. Even uh, with outdoor use, it should be good. Uh, it reminds me of like an old school shoe. It's built like a tank. Mm -hmm. uh, materials are very tanky and... Um, you should be good to go for like a very long time. Yeah, durability should not be bad. Also, the rubber, I mean, you could probably mess with these outdoors. Yes. Uh, you know, it's not the hardest rubber, or the best outdoor outsole, but it'll get it done probably. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on to, uh, let's talk aesthetics real quick. Aesthetics? Uh, they're okay. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, they look better on foot. I actually like this colorway. Yeah. For some reason. It's I like a weird cream with this. Uh, I like the there. cream, but I don't like the. the, the I don't outside. know what it is. I kind of like it together. Really? For some reason. Kind of weird. Uh, yeah, it's all right. Let it's us know what you guys think. Uh, moving on to ventilation. No. Hell no. It's hot nah. as shit. Um, I hate shoes that are hot as shit. Yeah. Because I can't play a few games without taking it off because my feet get hot and then everything gets moist in there. It's so sweaty, it causes it's sweaty, more blisters. Blisters, it sucks, you know, so I don't like it. Yeah. You know, but um, if you're okay with that, then you're good to go, you know? Yeah. Alright, so uh, wrapping things up. What's uh, the damage on this slice? 140, I think. 140. 130 or 140. Yeah. Um, it's more of like a mid tier price model. For sure. You know, it's actually getting high, uh, pretty expensive now because you know high, high, um, high. Yeah, that's creeping up towards tier models are expensive. You know, yeah. that's creeping up towards top tier numbers because yeah. top, top tier, tier numbers are dropping. Yes. 
Because, you know, like KDs are 150. 150 and 160 for the Hyperdunk Flying. Yeah, 20, you know? 20 bucks more. It's a Hyperdunk Flying. So it's like, nice it's like kind of like what? Mid, mid high, yeah. top tier, you know? They got to drop the price on these. They do. Mark my words. Yes. Uh, um, but it's a good performer though. Yeah. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't mad at it. It's not something that's going to be in my rotation, of course. Um, but I feel like for uh, bigger dudes, but if you want to be like faster and feel light on your feet and still have good impact protection and uh, good traction, I feel like these would be uh, very good for you. Yeah. Uh, but I wouldn't re recommend it for like a guard though. Not really. I mean, if you're in love with it aesthetically, it should be okay. It's though. not a bad shoe. Yeah. Maybe you know? try the mesh. Yeah. Yeah. Try the mesh ver mesh version. Maybe we will. We probably won't. Yeah. Um, this is pretty much. A as much as we're gonna do with these, these super flies. But um, we will put them toe to toe with other shoes and yes. that's all uh, we can really do for you. Um, that's everything we know about the shoe. Hope we helped you guys out. Soul Brothers, we'll catch you in the next one later. Peace.